Hello guys, welcome to Solving Solutions, your number one channel where you get solutions to all your solving problems. It's nine seven in class again today. How have you been? On today's video, we are going to show you how to move your data from Excel to Access. Right, good. Now we have um, some points which are actually some federal universities in Nigeria. We have their location and then we also have the we have the addresses and then we also have their location in latitude and longitude, right? Good. So we are going to move this data or let's say this year, these are our, these are federal universities in Nigeria, some of the federal universities in Nigeria to what? To address. However, there is something you need to note. Before ever you move it to um, address, you need to format your data to a particular format, which means you need to save it to a particular version of what? Of Excel, right? Good. So for us to move it from Excel to Access and also what to label it. So let's come down to file. Then we go to save as. Then we are saving it on this folder, Excel to Access. Now on this folder, let's um, now save it as um, some federal universities in Nigeria, SS twenty two, right? Good. Then the file type is actually Excel 97 to 2023 workbook. Now this is the compatible um, file type that um, um, IMAGIS recognizes. We are going to confirm that. So let's just save that, right? Good. So we have saved it in that um, compatible format. Good. So we are now on what on IMAGIS. Now first thing first, let's see what the properties of what this layer or we can just say the data frame properties right good so the crs is very important because the crs we are trying to bring in is actually wgs84 because the coordinates are in what they are in lat and long right good as you can see the coordinates are in latitude and longitude therefore the coordinates are wgs84 so we just um, apply and then we say close then we come down to files we go to add data then we select what add xy data remember we told you that if you don't um, format your data to that um, rgs compatible format you might not be able to access it so now let's browse um, let's do the folder connection good so we've connected it to the folder now this is the default um, some federal universities in nigeria so let's click on that and add now you can see the error message failed to connect to database and underlying database error called class not registered now let's now look at um, the let's now look at the one we saved on our own which is what some federal universities in nigeria ss22 right good so let's um, click on that then add so we now have the sheet that we want to add then we can just add that so you now see that if you have not saved it in that um rgs compatible um, excel format you might not be able to access it or what on rgs so you have to pay attention to that then the fields from our what from our data the x field is what the longitude so if your field is not well formatted you can just use the drop down to format it very well the y field is what the latitude right good and then it has by default what extracted the crs if this is not what you want or maybe if there is an error you can just um, edit it then navigate to wherever the crs you are using is and then you select right good so since we are using them um, wgs 1984 we can just go with that now warn me if the resulting layer will have a um, restricted functionality yes this layer will have um, a restricted functionality and we are going to see why because um, there is no um there is no um, specific id so let's leave that on and then let's click on ok good so they say the table you specified does not have an object id field so you will not be able to select query or edit the feature so when we are done we can decide to export as what a shape file we should now i think introduce the object id which will help us in the other aspect of maybe query selection and maybe editing right good so let's just click on ok now our points have been added we can decide to work on the symbology let's say um, i prefer using red and then let's increase this to something like 10 and then let's click on ok then we can just um, bring in a base map let's say we are using osm good so you now see how they are what how they are located now that's not all we can still decide to what 
to label the features. However, since the fonts are not well positioned, we can just modify how the labeling will appear. So you just double click on what the layer. Then since the labeling is already on, you see what label features in this layer. But what we want is that yeah, the field is actually okay. We are using the name field. What we want to do is we want to change the font type and then the font size and um, subsequently. So let me say we are making this 10 and then we are making it bold. Let's also change the color to something like um let's say we are using blue. Then we just um, apply and then um, okay. So you've seen that with what you can see that we've actually imported that um, our XY data from um, from Excel to ArcGIS and we've actually what we've actually labeled it. We can still export it as what as a shape file, and then we also have a base map which we have used to confirm where the locations are. Right, good. So we can still export. So we right click, we come down to a data. Then we go to what export data right good so we just um, define where the location will be all right and you can now see what the export output dot shp it has been what or it's been exported as what as a shape file right good so let's um, say um, some federal universities some federal universities dot what dot shp right good so we can just click on save and then we click on ok now do you want the do you want to add the exported data to the map as a layer yeah good so since we have that as a layer we can just decide to minimize this and then we can just um, change this to by default what we want maybe increase this back to 10 and then we can rightly also do the what the labeling right good which we have done so we can still modify it to suit what our taste so this is basically how you can what import your data from excel to acmap or let's say your archives and then how you can maybe overlay it on the base map also how you can export it as what a ship file and perhaps how you can also label those points that you have actually imported to ArcMap. So thanks for coming to class. We hope we've provided solution to this particular surveying or GIS related problem. We are going to see you on our next video. Ensure you keep staying safe and have a very good time. Bye.